All right, my friends. So one of the biggest things that you want to make sure that you're working on with your business is starting a VIP group. And it's a group, not a page. It makes a world of difference in your business. So you want to make sure that you've started a group and that you've added your friends and family, people on Facebook, anybody that you think would be interested and that you've reached out to and they've reached out to you. And you can totally share this group with your people and let them know that you've got this. So you want to have a group and in it you want to post daily, consistently, share fun ideas, fun pictures, how you're using it, why you love it, the monthly special, share why you joined. You can totally ask them if they want to host a party because they can get tons of free stuff. But you also want to make sure that when you're sharing in your group that it's more about telling your story and not selling your story. It makes a huge difference in how it comes off and how interested people are in you. The more fun that you have in your group, the more you do in your group, the more interaction that you have, the higher that it will be on your people's notifications and the more that they'll get notified about it. The other suggestion that I have when getting your group going and building it is reach out to your top five to 10, what you would like to call wing women, your wing men. Reach out to them and say, okay, starting this new business, I need some help. Is there any way for like the next four months that you can make this group one of your favorites? And every day when I'm in there posting and sharing, if you could just go in there and drop a quick comment and a like or share your own or share what you've seen on Pinterest, if you can get them to do that and if they're willing to do that, I did that when I started and it made a huge difference. I rewarded those 10 women with just a simple like $15 gift card because I couldn't afford anything else. And I put it all in one party together and I was able to get some goodies for myself but I also didn't give it to them all at once because we didn't have $150 to share um, and I just told them that I was like I this is why I'm starting this business and the whole point is to be able to feed my children so can I break this up they were all fine with it I was upfront and honest with them and they really went with it so reaching out to those top people that you think will just really be helpful and open to helping your business those are the ones you want to have commenting liking sharing whatever the case may be and when you're in your business group, you want to make sure that you're sharing consistently, that you're having fun, you're sharing fun things, share things that are about 31 because you have more hats that are not 31. You're a wife, maybe a mom, maybe a student, um, a daughter, a friend, whatever the case may be, you have other things going on. Share those too. It's a great way for your customers to really get to know you and feel that connection. Your group is the place that keeps them updated. It's a safe place for them. It's a fun place for them. It's a fun place for you. It keeps you on top of your game, up to date. It keeps you motivated in your business. And it really, really, really can be so incredibly helpful. And please just remember that it's not the number that's in your group, but it's the quality that's in your group. So if you need some new people in your group, then that means you need to step outside your comfort zone and really just reach out and ask people to send people your way and refer them. So if you have any questions about your VIP group, let me know. I love having a VIP group. It's one of my favorite things and places to go, and I would love to help you with more on that. Thanks for watching.